you felt you were part of it, you know, rather than being, you know, one of those massive charities that uh, seems to be almost an industry rather than a charity. And this is the way that I saw things, and it just needed somebody's passion, like Jonathan's passion, to light the fire, you know. When you see the photographs, you're looking absolutely at an image with, with no personality to it at all. It's just, that's the image. And it's horrific. And you think, I'm never going to be able to take all this, I don't think. When you meet them, of course you meet whatever you like to call it, a soul, a, a whole person, a complete personality. And, and, and it's, uh, though it's tragic and ghastly in many ways, it's also wonderful that something's being done about it. And certainly because, because they are a whole person, it isn't as devastating as just an image. <laughs> They're in a, a terrible way, they're introverted, they're unhappy, um, and yet they arrive here and they see people for the first time, and, and suddenly they're not alone. And you can see that they're looking forward now, not looking back or feeling sorry for themselves. They, 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 they've got a life ahead of them. The object of the exercise, really, is, is um, to help put it on the map which is a, a completely different role from my, from my normal one. So it's, uh, it's fascinating, it's fascinating. Ethiopia. Vast mountain ranges, fertile jungles, and abundant wildlife. A land of sunshine. People here are bound together by circumstance. Communities are strong. But for some, this is not the case. Some children won't get to go to school or have friends. Most won't get married and will never have a family. These people have been shunned by their communities, cast out because of their facial disfigurements. With a population of 93 million, and only 120 surgeons nationally, there is a dire lack of medical expertise and care in Ethiopia. Every year for two months, Project Harar send an international team of surgeons, anaesthetists, doctors, nurses, and dentists, all volunteers, and all coming together to transform the faces and lives of those in most urgent need. Patients are given three weeks of consultation, support and nutritional care that prepare them physically and mentally for two weeks of complex medical procedures. So our next patient is a Chadi uh, Ramadan. The father tells us that she had uh, been attacked by a hyena about four months ago. And she also has further scars. Life has somewhat slipped through their fingertips. With many unable to eat properly, their condition may kill them. We provide them with surgery that will save their lives, integrate them back into their communities, and open up all the opportunities they've never had before. Their world will be transformed. For many of them, this will be the first time they have had the chance to be part of a community. Meeting people with similar conditions, they realize 
they are not alone. This little girl was the victim of a hyena attack. The animals obviously, its jaws had grabbed her. There, you can see there's scars across her eye, across her cheek. So it's a jaws. Without our intervention, they face an isolated and dangerous existence. By providing them with radical facial surgery, we give them a chance at life. A chance to fit in and feel normal. To continue our work providing medical care to individuals like these, we need your support. Give today. ProjectHarar.org Rebuilding Faces changing lives.